substantial one. There is a way to do this, and that is, this is all fingertip stuff, remember, because we want to be light. We don't want to be shaving off the tops of the mountains. And I'm going to angle it away, and I'm going to use fingers, you know, another two fingers to guide my hand down the ski so I go straight. And you heard me talk about scraping it off, okay? And, but if you're starting new, I want you to think of rubbing it off, not scraping it off. Because when people say scrape, they tend to think pressure. See, and we don't want pressure. You see this wax shavings up here? It's all pretty clean. There's nothing in there where I took off part of the base. But now, if I'm scraping and I'm pushing hard, whoa. <laughs> Well, I didn't do it that time. There's nothing in there at that time. Use Steve Ski. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I may not have any left. Yeah. As hard as I've been pushing on I'm mine. still not getting any. Maybe he doesn't have peaks anymore. <laughs> it might not. I may have demonstrated so much on this ski, there's nothing to shave <laughs> off anymore. I'm still not shaving, but th that's what I'm... Trying to avoid lack of flex in your uh, uh, No, that's just... Is there a little bit in that Looks one? Looks like a little bit there. A little bit right there. There's a little bit of black right You'll off the edge. Yeah, and that's what we want to avoid. Oh, yeah, I see it. <laughs> and, oh, before I forget, I see you taking pictures. If you go to our website, tocous.com, there's lots of videos on stuff just like this. So, um, and then you can watch it again and again and again. Okay, and then, so I've done that. Now I'm going to just brush. Well, how do you and know when to stop scraping, I guess, then? Before oh, the black stuff, obviously. You, uh, I'm glad you asked that question because, I, you know, I don't know how long you guys can wait, but I know you've been here for a long time, so I want to get through. So I'm brushing out. I'm not going to try to scrape everything off. I'm going to leave that for the brushing, okay, because, you know, if I try to get too much, I'm going to start shaving those peaks and valleys off. But you can see back here, you know, if you take your thumb along here and rub, like I said earlier, you can see where I've left wax. I've got a lot of wax off the middle, but not on the sides. And now I've brushed here, okay, and so in most places, I can't make hardly any kind of a mark. You know, when we leave a little here, now here, you can see I'm picking up wax. You can actually see it, and there's a spot right down in here, okay. But you want to learn to look at the ski like that and watch the light reflect off of it, and that will show you where there's still wax on the ski. But you just come back and, and you just brush you just brush that out yep. and, not, and not try to come back with a scraper. Yes, right. There are times, you know, when you might see a little bit too much and you might want to pull the scraper out. Like right in here there's some, and I could. I would brush that actually, but you'll see... You see the little bit that came up right here mm -hmm. from that spot along the edge? Um, but uh, yeah, a lot of things and now it's are gone. uneven, so to try and scrape everything. Yeah, you'd end up taking too much on one and not enough on the other. And right, because, the because skis, you know, when you start applying heat to skis, they start to warp a little bit the first few times. So, um, and the kick zone here, you just didn't do anything with the... I didn't do anything. I am going to come back and sand that in a minute. But why don't, you, why don't you guys just take a minute or two and come up and take a look at this, look at the light. Don't be afraid to take your thumbnail over the ski. This is a pair of skis that will probably never get skied on again. So, so when you have the three pockets, yeah. 